Hi guys, we're going to quickly cover the navigation TACAM radio here and just some of the features. Um, a couple of people have noticed that it has a few extra functions and we want to actually cover all of these so that people are aware how they work. First off, when you first start this, it will be in TACAM mode. This mode the active frequency is shown on the top here. The standby frequency is shown on the bottom here. Rotating the outer knob will increase the tens number by one, depending on which direction you're rotating it. Your middle mouse for this. Rotating the inner knob will change the ones value. Right clicking on the inner knob and rotating will change it between X-ray and the empty. Left clicking will and they'll be back in allowing you to change ones again. Pressing the standby swap or transfer button here will swap the frequency from standby to active. Clicking the mode switch down the bottom here will change the lower frequency to show a VOR DME standard frequency. At this point, the large dial will change Big number, small number, the small dial will change the decimal number. Pressing the transfer will swap it from the standby to the active frequency. At which point if you press the mode button again, you will swap the radio into a full normal VOR DME radio. Pressing and holding on the tack on the swap switch for more than ten seconds will switch it into active entry mode. In this mode you actively enter the frequency straight into the dial. Pressing to transfer push switch once more to switch it back out. One other function you should be aware of when using the nav at can radio is the DME hold switch up here. When it is in normal on nil. Whatever frequency you have tuned in on the radio, be it cat can or VOR, will be used to pull DME information on the HSI. When you push the DME hold, it will attempt to use the, frequ the active frequency in the radio opposite to the one that is currently active. So in the case at the moment, it would be attempting to use the cat can radio. By switch to tack can mode, it will attempt to use the VOR DME frequency that is currently active to give me a DME information. This allows you to use a tack can for the purpose of getting DME information while doing a VOR tack approach or an ILS approach. Thank you.